The Zika virus made headlines as it expanded from Central and South America into North America. In the summer of 2016, the first locally transmitted cases of Zika in the United States were reported in Miami, Florida. Now, researchers are scrambling to develop a vaccine against Zika, while health officials focus on controlling its spread. Zika isn't the only mosquito-borne illness, but it's of special concern because it has been linked to a very serious birth defect called microcephaly in babies who are born to infected mothers. Here are the top 10 things you need to know about the Zika virus. 1. Zika isn't a new disease. Zika has been around for decades. Scientists first discovered the Zika virus in 1947. They found it in monkeys living in the Zika forests of Uganda. That's where the virus gets its name. In 1952, human cases were reported in Uganda and the United Republic of Tanzania. The first large human outbreak wasn't until 2007. It was centered in the island of Yap in the West and Pacific Ocean. Since then, an increasing number of outbreaks have occurred in Brazil, Mexico, Central and South America and the Caribbean. Most recently, Zika has been discovered in the southeastern United States. 2. Mosquitoes can spread the Zika virus. Zika virus spreads through the bite of infected mosquitoes. The Aedes mosquito spreads Zika virus. This species lives mainly in warm climates including the southern United States, South America, and the Caribbean. The Aedes mosquito typically bites during the early morning, and in the late afternoon to evening hours. If you travel to an area where Zika is spreading and you get bitten by an Aedes mosquito, you're at risk for the Zika virus, but you won't necessarily get infected. 3. Zika can be transmitted through sexual intercourse. Someone who's been infected with Zika can pass the virus to their partner through sex. You may be contagious even if you don't show any symptoms. That's why it's important to either avoid sex or wear a condom for six months after you or your... 4. You can infect other people if you've been infected. Once you're infected, you can infect other people. Zika isn't transmitted through a sneeze or cough, like other viruses. When you're infected, the virus lives in your blood. If a mosquito bites you, it can pass the virus to other people it bites. You can also transmit Zika by having sex. 5. Zika may be spread through a blood transfusion. It's possible to catch Zika from a blood transfusion. No one in the United States has gotten it this way, but there have been cases in Brazil. If you've traveled to an area with Zika, or think you've been exposed through sexual contact, you may need to wait to donate blood. 6. You may not have any symptoms. Only one in five people who are infected have symptoms. Symptoms may resemble the flu, and can include joint and muscle pain, fever, headache, rash, red eyes or conjunctivitis. 7. A blood test can tell if you're infected. The only way to know for sure if you have the virus is through a blood test. The test looks for antibodies your body makes against the Zika virus. It can take a few weeks to get results and the results aren't always accurate. Eight. Symptoms may improve in two to seven days. Most people who get Zika feel better in a few days. The infection usually lasts for two to seven days. Then your symptoms will start to improve. Nine, Zika is dangerous to unborn babies. A baby whose mother was infected with the Zika virus during pregnancy can be born with microcephaly. Babies with this birth defect have a smaller than normal head and a brain that isn't fully developed. 10. Women who are pregnant should avoid travel to Zika-prone areas. 
the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, recommends that pregnant women stay away from any areas where Zika has been found. If you have to travel to one of these places, protect yourself against insect bites. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video.